Mr. Aikenhead strikes again. Not bad, that's where I came from last yesterday. I uh, walked down to a lovely B&B uh, just out in Mass Haven and now I'm here on my final day wandering around. Yeah, so generally it's been pretty good really. Um, here I am, last day, still surviving, looking a bit rough around the edges. Uh, but I've had a, generally speaking, I've had a fantastic week, he says, joking apart. Uh, I'm sure I'll record more when I get down to Prostatin. Uh, but I'm going to enjoy a nice Sunday morning stroll uh, and uh, hopefully be there by early afternoon. <laughs> So what lessons have I learned from this week? Um, obviously hydration, water, that was the thing that got me on day two. I was very, very thirsty that day. Seriously dehydrated and it wasn't a great feeling to be honest. I was very lucky that I found some charity dudes who gave me some uh, warm lemonade. But ever since then I made sure that uh, I always had sort of a good full bottle on the go. Another one in the rucksack and uh, take any opportunity to get water really, or drinks or anything. So if you don't look a gift horse in the, in the face or whatever you call it. Um, the other thing is, yeah, just making the most of any opportunities. I think, you know, to get food or drink, it's yeah, just good for the morale to, to have those breaks. Um, yeah, I think I've done too much this week. You know, it was, two days, two and three, which I suffered on. Four, I felt good again. Uh, five, six, struggled through. Six was actually pretty, pretty good yesterday. Really enjoyed the, uh, the uh, running on the contours. And today, it's a nice day. You know, it's, you know, I should be on schedule. Well, it was supposed to be a big celebration, making it here, but I'm absolutely knackered. I'm just fed up of this, fed up of this walk, really. The station's back there, so I've got, to, got here at, what time? 10 past, the train's at 10 to 6, so they aren't going to be hanging around. So I think I might get my shoes and socks on, but because uh, my feet are so hot and bothered. And, well, I made it. At the end of the day, I made it. Yeah, half a double going. Looks quite nice. Well, those are the feet that have taken me on this journey. Look at that. There's the blister on that side. Pretty nice, aren't they? There we go. Sound of water. Go feet going in. Oh, that is so good. That feels so good. So I made it. 182 miles in Chepso. Here I am. I've got myself in this one. And the sea feels really warm and nice actually. Well, I don't know, it's down here. Oh, that's good. It's there all day. 